yeah. faculty, <laughs> distinguished guests, fellow graduates. It's a great pleasure and honor that I stand before you today as a graduate of the Master's in Public Leadership Program at USF. As a Lebanese American Civil War survivor, a first generation college graduate, I know firsthand what strong leadership and education are and their impact, positive impact, on our communities. I witnessed the first act of generosity and leadership when I was five years old. My mother was internally displaced during the Lebanese Civil War, and she abandoned her dream of education to help raise her siblings. She was a teenager herself. When I came of age to go to school, she defended me to get into a good educational Catholic school in Lebanon. My mother was 19 years old, and she was facing the wrath of the patriarch. Take a moment to imagine a young mother standing up for her in-laws, for her husband, for her friends, for her own family, other women who insisted that girls were not deserving of a good education. And yet she persisted, spending the next 15 years of her life living in scarcity, teaching herself the school curriculum my mom has in elementary education. She taught herself the school curriculum so she can help me and my siblings succeed at school. This was my first experience of leadership. My mom made sure that all three of her children graduated from top schools in Lebanon. One of them is a teacher who touches the lives of hundreds of students every year. Another one is an upstanding public servant in the city corruption in my home country of Lebanon, and I am a leader in the nonprofit sector serving organizations across the United States, Lebanon, and the world for the past 20 years. So thank you, Mom, for teaching me leadership. In 2019, I became a U.S. citizen, but my slightly Frenchy accent, have you noticed? Still raised a lot of questions about my Americanness, my academic credentials, maybe my fluency in three languages was a little confusing to some people. Not still not sure. But I found myself facing racism, much like my mother was facing misogyny. And once again, I drew on the leadership lesson she taught me. This time forcing myself to believe that I am worthy of self-investment. I am worthy of leading my own life. I am worthy of helping others when I am stronger and well-equipped. And I am worthy on acting on these beliefs. And so I applied for scholarship for the Master's in Public Leadership here at USF because we are worthy of being here. And while it was my own tenacious leadership that brought me here, completing this program would not have been possible without the generosity and leadership of my USF family, Professor Kelly Handel here, and the opportunity that USF provided me to join a diverse body of students who are BIPOC, LGBTQ, immigrants, multi-religious, united, all of us, in the value of service as USF, as a USF Jesuit town. So as a 2022 McGrath Fellow, I have experienced how USF is actively and actively democratizing leadership, instilling in us the notion that every one of us 
is not only worthy, but called. And so, at a time when diversity, equity, and inclusion are under attack, the USF community is upholding the true Jesuit values of love, compassion, and empathy. Fellow graduates and guests, we know well USF's call to change the world from here. And I have come to understand that here is not only the campus, not the city of San Francisco, or any other place. Here is in the heart and the minds as agents of change for our communities and for the common good. So thank you for being the leadership model you are preaching here at USF. Let's give it up to USF. We are living in a time where the need for leadership has never been greater. In a world where division, hate, and intolerance are everywhere, it is up to us, public leaders, to promote unity compassion and understanding. And it is not just about the big decision that we face. It's also about the small choices we make every day. So public leadership is really an everyday practice. And we learned that in our program. My classmate, who is not here with us tonight, Navy Commander John Marvin, he's been really a source of inspiration for me. What he said to me, I've always told my sailors and kids, he's a Navy commander, that the key aspect of leadership is to use your wisdom and ability to inspire for the purpose of placing people of different abilities and qualities in the right places so they can do the most good. This is the program that I am in. This is the kind of leaders I interact with every week. So John's comments really reminded me of how important it is to celebrate the acts of courage in leadership, and how important it is to pay them forward and inspire others to take part in this collective responsibility of doing good. So thank you, John, for always modeling that leadership model. USF has attracted change agents from across the world and disciplines into masters, into this master's of public leadership program. And they are changing the world from here. From combating the opioid epidemic on the streets of San Francisco, my, my buddy here, Leandro, to bringing refugees home from Afghanistan, from caregiving, that's you, to breastfeeding, from eliminating homelessness, to implementing protection from sexual assault policies, amplifying black voices, fighting disparity in policing. Can you imagine that? My classmates are changing the world in the halls of Congress, from Germany, the coast of Russia, Ukraine, Australia, US Mount Whitney, and Lebanon. And they are doing something about the social issues we struggle with as a society. They are changing the world from here. So what are you doing to change the world from here? No pressure. As graduates of USF, we are prepared to become effective leaders. The French philosopher Michel de Montaigne said, mieux vaut une tête bien faite qu'une tête bien pleine, which translates, he'd rather have thinkers over, over information mortars. And our Jesuit education at USF really focused on instilling critical thinking 
and practicing leadership and learning through inquiry and understanding and honing the process of the disciplines we are studying. So as we embark on this next chapter of our life, I challenge you to embrace public leadership as an everyday practice. I invite you to think about what an act of leadership would mean for you in this moment, today. Now, how will you change the world from here, right now? USF faculty, staff, families, lovers, thank you for your support and encouragement throughout this journey. And my fellow graduates, congratulations on this incredible achievement. May we all change the world from here. Thank you.